moving can bring new challenges. The herd has wandered into the territory of a lone bull. Until they can secure a herd, bulls lead a solitary existence, guarding their turf and waiting for available females to pass through. But this group already has its herd bull. For many animals, this would be a certain fight, and their horns are potentially lethal. These desert dwellers, there's a far greater threat. The heat. A fight would waste valuable energy, but the lone bull wants the herd. It may be worth a challenge. Posturing, they size each other up. Tussles enough to persuade the loner that it's a fight he can't win. He lets the herd pass through his territory unhindered. It might be a long, tough journey. One of the biggest challenges here is the terrain, sand. This shifting, gritty, irritating topography has shaped one of the desert's most extreme specialists. in the sun to warm up. Scientists long thought his stout limbs were tucked against his sides to help him sink under the sand. Recent studies have revealed that they rotate back and forth using the front crawl stroke. He can literally swim through the sand. What's sleek and streamlined beneath the sand looks a lot clumsier on the surface. His short legs give him a distinctive waddle. Most small animals have no choice other than to hide away during the blazing heat of the day. But larger animals have no such luxury. Some of the most famous specialists live out on the rocky plains. Known as the ships of the desert, camels are the ultimate desert survivors. Dromedaries, or one-humped camels, aren't truly wild. They're a domesticated species that now roams free. Fossil evidence suggests that they were domesticated here 4,000 years ago. By 2,000 years ago, their wild ancestors were extinct. Nonetheless, they still have their predecessors' remarkable adaptations that enable them to survive this fierce desert. In the midst of the group is a tiny youngster, just a few weeks old, 